gentlemen, this is a very special moment because uh, up to now this enormously complex uh, beast has been known under the name Exoscot Rover as part of the MRT-20 expedition experiments. But today, this is going to change and uh, we have uh, uh, the majority, I think, of the Rover team with us, Anlita Piera from the Technical University of Graz. Um, and uh, we intend to change the name in the next few minutes, so to say, and I think it's only fair to let you reveal uh, the, the new name before we do the naming ceremony, so to say. Yeah, yeah. Would you give us Thank you very much, again, for this opportunity. Um, the name was not grown by ourselves, so it was a cooperation with the Austrian Space uh, Forum. We had a naming contest, and we get very nice uh, uh, proposals here. And after some um, review together, uh, we made uh, a choice. And uh, it's an honor to say what it is. It is Mercato. <laughs> so the new name is Mercato. <laughs> and uh, I like the name very much because um, it was named after a scientist who was one of the inventors of metals making maps on Earth. So I think it's appropriate to name it after it. <laughs> However, um, Mercator helped us to map the world. This Mercator will help us to map worlds. Jeremy <laughs> said that? Okay, what is the least critical spot to? <laughs> <laughs> The side of the back is the side of the back. Okay. Not that the power supplies me. Uh, okay. And right, so some Austrian champagne going to, to to Mars, so to say. And of course we have a little bit of desert sand as well. So we actually let's do this together. Okay. You, you, and then it's my response. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so on behalf of Emily Twenty and the entire team. About to explore new worlds, we hereby question you or name you Mercator. May this name known by future generations. <laughs> and maybe you're gonna name it. Still works. Woo! 